All right, great people. All right, great people. Join me once again today. This is also going to be a quick one. It's going to be a quick one. It's very, very important announcement. I'm here to make a very quick video. I mean, quick broadcast. And it's very, very important that all of you join me this time around. I have at least five issues to talk about. And it's all about Biafran Restoration Project. So that our people can understand what is about to come. Then you have to get yourself prepared. We have been creating this awareness for a long time. But I believe that you never sink into the minds of some of our people. There is also a latest news from international community. That is what I'm here to share with our people. And as you are joining, please make sure you do the needful to this broadcast that I'm doing right now. I'm not going to take much of your time. Because all of you know what Facebook is doing to us. And of course, I know where my video is. I mean, where people so much view my video. And that is why I always drop it there. Because of what Facebook is doing. I welcome you all. Let me, if I can be able to call some people's name. Tony Frank, welcome to this program. You people should write name. Let me call some of you before... I will proceed. Of course, I never introduce myself for some of you that are joining me for the first time. I will do all these things, but um, I will also let this video to get to order of my the platform that belongs to me uh, before I will also proceed because it's very, very important. It's very, very important. Great people of Biafra, great Biafrans, freedom fighters, Lovers of freedom, great people all over the world, welcome. Good luck, you are welcome. Yes, uh, Joseph, you are welcome to this program. Joseph, you are welcome. Uh, if I don't call the other names, that means that the, the, the camera is very little bit far away from you, from me. Uh, yes, Shuku Emeka, you are welcome. Henry Shuks, you are welcome to this emergency broadcast that I have today. Uh, thank you, the, the, uh, what is funny, IPOB, you are welcome, Ayo, you are welcome, you are welcome, the great people, of course, we are doing the real job, and I want you people to understand something, Ayo Duru, you are welcome to this program, who are you, Evangelist Ifani, of course, you are welcome to this very beautiful, wonderful day, that I have very emergency destiny. You are welcome to this program. I go down. You are welcome to this wonderful broadcast. I you do once again. Destiny, you are welcome. Or uh, what is this name? Um, Obo uh, Abu Aga. Sorry if I don't pronounce it. God bless IPOB, of course. God must. She goes here. You are welcome to this broadcast. Don CC, you are welcome to this broadcast. Emma, you are welcome to this. The doors are wise. As you are writing, I want you to keep on saying the doors are wise. Of course, the doors are wise. Those that I'm following, they are so much wise. That is why I will keep on following them. Those that know the roots. Those that know what it takes to give us Biafra. Under the leadership of Mazin Nandukukan. Who is that? Bo S A R. You are welcome. Good day, sir. I salute you too, sir. Um, she... Zoba, you are welcome to this program once again. D O S C C E F I N I P O B. God bless you all. Harry, God bless you all. God bless you as you are joining me to this wonderful and uh, quick broadcast. It's very, very quick. Believe you me, it's very, very quick. We have to talk about all these things because I cannot stay here so long because of what Facebook is doing to us. You know, whenever you want to see me, you go to my quick video. 
I am doing the quick video so that some of our people can be able also to listen to that video. I couple everything in one pack. You know, with 10 minutes video, you will understand. I will pack everything together because this is the way it has to go. Because of the stupidity and the idiocy of Facebook, what they are doing. They think we care. Who are they? Who are they? Let me call my people. She they do, Michael. You are welcome to this wonderful and beautiful broadcast that I have today. She don't so you are welcome. She don't so obior. You are welcome to this wonderful. Today is a wonderful day, and today is the day that you could have made to us that we are still alive today. I greet you all, Christopher. You are welcome. Tony Frank, you are wonderful people. The doors are wise. As you are writing, you pull the doors are wise. Of course, Mazi Shike, Dozim, the head of Directorate of State, the doors are wise. I greet you all. Who they, who are they? We are, we write it. I'm poor for no only phenomenal. You people are wonderful. And those our commentators, those people that are commenting, I say, may God, Kukikabi Amapuri Mihenine, bless you all and give you people more wisdom. To be able to absorb and understand the ethics of this movement. That is very, very important. Of course, I love my people. I love my people. I love my people. Thank you, great people. Thank you, great people. Now, let me move forward to this today's broadcast because it's very, very important. Let me introduce myself to you all. For some of you that are joining me for the first time. Great people. My great people. Freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom are great people over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukan, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenna Okichu, known as the Bia Franchise Wachineke. The general, I am from Ehala in Anambra, Ebeneri, Ebeneri. Is a Biafra land under Anambra. Ihala under Anambra. Anambra is a Biafra land. I am under chain of command. IPOB. I hope you are getting my point. Because very, very soon they will begin to yap and say all sort of rubbish from their mouth. I am the Biafra child. I am Mazo Kenna Okechukun. I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. If you don't know, begin to know now. On this quest of self-determination, either Biafra or nothing. And we have already, I myself and many of us have made ourselves choosing our path on this Biafra restoration. That Biafra must come in our time. And that is the reason why we are doing everything we are doing. Of course, we are facing different faces of war. Faces different. There are many faces. But let me go, let me greet also our leader Mazin Nam the Okukano. The Iroko tree himself. The Isia Fukwabo Uno Moya. O Fumoke Ne Sirora. Only Mazin Ne Sirora. Only man that cook for many crowd and they cannot finish it. Only man that finish cook. The Mazen Namlekan or Hamadike one, a man that loves his own people and also extend the love to Fulanis. Mazen Namlekan love everybody. You don't know. Don't you ever heard about it when Mazen Namkan was telling you about the common Fulanis? Now you understand. Mazen Namlekan is only true man in Africa. Some as some confirm it. As you, know, go, you can never dispute it. You can't. The man so much love his own people. Mazin Nam the Kano want Africa to grow. Mazin Nam the Kano want Africa to begin to pay to the GDP of the world so that we can be able to, the world can recognize us and we are begin, we, then we begin to contribute to the world. Everything that Africa is doing, they are giving to them. That is why we are in this mess that we are today. Now, let me shock you people. Like I said, Mazin Nam the Kano, I never finished greeting you. Uh, it's just a mistake and I will keep on you see my royalty to you can never stop my royalty to Mazen Namdekano can never stop and to the leadership which is the DOS and who is in charge today Mazen Shike Dozem on absent of Mazen Namdekano one day if you like you get a piece now 
I'm your last ending. After I, I done with you people, nobody else. And I want you to believe it. One we are mate, you just yapping. You are coming on social media, just talk. After you talk, you go to your house and sleep. By the end, I watch also we must count the miles. Then you begin to understand who are those that are standing for Biafran Restoration Project. That is why we're here. And we are not going to stop. I, the Biafran child, can never stop. On this quest of self-defense nature. Mazin Namdekano, I so much love you. May God bless the womb that give us Mazin Nam Okukano. May God bless the family that give us Mazin Nam Okukano. May God bless as the Israel and Lolo Israel Okukano. Where they are today, they are praying for us. They are in heaven looking down to this earth that we are today, preparing a place for us, the kingdom of Chukwokikabiam on this planet Earth, which is Biafra. After Biafra, there is nothing else. <clears throat> Our leader told us, be, and we believe it. Everything that he said is a gospel. Are you now beginning to see it? Are you now beginning to see it? They said that carry him, Jidia, Keabu, put him in prison, put him in dungeon, eh, so that we will have evil presidency. Now, they put him there. All of them, they are running helter scatter. Can't you see it? Are you now seeing it, or do you want me to begin to explain to you? Is it what you want? Of course, you can see it with your koro koro eyes. Even though the deaf, they will hear. The blind are beginning to see the corruption and the deceit in that contraption called Damilibu Zoo, Nigeria. Nigeria is a zoo. Everything in Nigeria is, you see, is against humanity. Nigeria by themselves, Nigeria herself, I don't know if Nigeria is a woman because when they call Nigeria my fatherland, <laughs> probably Nigeria is a man. I don't even know how they say Nigeria herself when they say their fatherland. All oh, their fatherland is a mess. Let me shock you people what is going on today in Abuja. And that is a breaking news. And we are not going to run away from that. That is the reason why I'm bringing this to you people. You go to this article that I put on on this broadcast that I'm doing right now. You will see what I put there. The international communities, they are running away. American people, they are running away. They say they want to run away. And some foreign mission missions, they say they are running away. Say in 160 the hours, they will take over Abuja. And my question now is that our people have to begin to reason. They are bringing propaganda every day. They will tell you, Nigeria, we will do this. They will do that. Are they... They are coming to take over Abuja. And I begin to ask myself, is it this thing that happened in, uh, in Taliban? It's about to happen to Zuko, Nigeria. I want every one of you to buckle your belt and embark on this journey that we are. Biafran Restoration Project. Go back to your home. Go back to your land. Stop your idiocy and stupidity. Thinking that every land is land. This lie. No, no. I'm living in Germany. Germany is not my land. I have to tell you the truth. Anabotu, Anabotu, Anabrotu is a lie. We are not the same people. And they are coming to take over Abuja. In 160 hours, Abuja will be, they will be taking over Abuja, uh, Boko Haram and uh, Isba. Exactly what happened in Taliban. They want to bring it to Nigeria. And when they take over, <laughs> you see, all of your own is gone. Now the foreigners, Americans and other community are leaving Abuja. They are saying that under 160 days or 160 hour or 160 minutes, they know, they know that is their plan. And that is exactly what they are planning. They are planning for them to go Ispa and Boko Haram to take over Abuja. And you know that Abuja is the federal capital. You, 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 you wanna, I, all my people, I don't even know who did this to us. Our people will see the news. They won't even listen. They won't even understand. They won't even try to figure it out what is about to come. Of course, some of our people, they have already infiltrated them. And as they are coming, the international communities are leaving that contraption. Eh, our, the the Zuko Nigeria by themselves, they are infiltrating our people at the same time. At the same time. Are you getting the point? At the same time. Abuja is about, they are about to take Abuja. Abuja, they say, American people said, not me, 
Go and read the article. The article is in public domain. You know, whatever we bring to our people must be in public domain. So when you go and search for it, definitely you must find it. So that you will not say we are fabricating lies and concocting stories. No, we are giving you authentic information so that you can be able to know way out. I hope you are getting the point. I still remember as okay, no kitchen. So <clears throat> what I'm telling you people now is like they are about to take Abuja a lot, a lot. I want you to go back to this video that I'm doing right now. Like I said, this is going to be a quick video, quick broadcast. You people already know what I'm doing. You people already know my stand. So what I'm trying to tell you people now, for you people to understand what happened in Taliban is about to happen here. That is the reason why when Shetima, I saw a lot of you, when Shetima is giving you the sign, when they call them, I think that was a speech about their, about the, 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 the candidate of uh, the, their parties, that Tunubu was not there. The man came with one big suit, one large suit with a sneakers, jump up uh, trousers. Some people say uh, Shetima don't know what he's doing. Shetima is a uh, look at how he dressed. Look at why Shetima is telling you their agenda. They are coming to take over as a Taliban. You can't even listen. It can't even reason. You can't even understand it. That that is the the pattern. That is the way they behave. That is their attire. He's telling you they are coming to take over. <coughs> Sorry, my people. They are telling you they are coming to take over. But some people are there. You know, making comedy. Uh, you know, making skips about Shetima. But after all those why that Shetima dressed out those is nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. It's just a, it's just to show you their, their logo so you can be able to understand what they are doing. That is a Taliban dress. That is their, 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 their signature. And that is what American and others a foreign mission are telling you now that Abuja is about to collapse into and it will fall into the hands of Isba and Boko Haram and you are there, you still don't want to hear, you don't want to find a way to go back to your land, you are there saying that uh, an Abuja land is land <laughs> our people, <laughs> you people are so, I don't know, I don't want to abuse our people, I know, I know it's not our fault, of course it's not our fault it's the poverty and the, the and the, and the, uh, you know the, by not uh, den by denying the Biafran people government presence, that is the reason why our people ran away. But we have been shouting all this from day one. Our internal leader Dimo Dumego took went to Lagos where they were building some. If the, the man begin to cry, my people, my people, what are you people doing there? Why can't you carry those your properties come back to your land and build it? When you go to Lagos, they charge you a goose that's supposed to be 1,000 naira. If they charge you 2,000 naira, you carry the goose, you come back to your place, then you multiply it times two. They must buy it. You see now, thread by pattern. But our people will know, our people will say no. When some people will be there trying to do the same thing, some people, some of our people will see it as opportunity. Now some people have moved, let me stay here and make the business and sell it sharp, sharp and make it lower price so that I will sell and go and bring it. That is the reason why I don't know what is wrong with our own people. I don't know what is wrong with the, the, our own people. The way they reason. Our people, even though the business of their own people will fall, they will say this is their opportunity. How would it be your opportunity? And you know that that contraption is not a country. Now you understand that is the, the latest news from that zoo called Nigeria. You buckle your belt and know what is about to come. If you don't, one in a million years. Now let me tell the second issue about Mazin Namdekano court case. Mazin Namdekano keep on winning. IPOB keep on winning. And we must keep on winning these people. Mazin Namdekano was freed, discharged in court of appeal. In court of appeal. And the Zuko Nigeria is holding him. And to the General of Federation, they say Namalami. 
They are holding him. And very, very soon you begin to ask yourself, how they will say Mazen Nam Bekam is popular. Only words that he, he will speak from his mouth. Nigeria will turn upside down. But for you to release this man so that this man can go, you are there making the man popular. Tomorrow you begin to ask, how does Mazen Nam Bekam is popular? Release Mazen Nam Bekam. Release him. You are making him more famous. You are giving him everything. But you don't know. Tomorrow you are the one that is going to begin to cry. Let him go. Let him go. Let this man go. The reason why they are holding Mazen Nambekano, there is no need. There is nothing like Igbo presidency. All of them have run away. Then release him. Tomorrow now he will speak. He say he's causing problem. But you are the one that causing the problem. They release him. You don't want to release him. The international communities are carrying the whole news. The world are carrying the news that you didn't want to release him. And his name is getting to more international communities. And you don't know that you, Zoo Corner Nigeria, you are causing damage to yourself. Release this man. Call this man. Sit on a round table. Ask him again. Because I know that you people have called him before. When they send an SND with some Igbo governors, they call him in Enugu to sit on a round table. But they did not make the demand of Mazen Namdekan. They told our leader to drop IP, to drop uh, the agitation. That they will give uh, they will give them uh, what they call the governor, they say they will give him. Or they will pay him some huge of amount. Mazen Namdekan asked them. What about my own people? That is why you see today, Rafa Wazrike is building hostel everywhere. They have paid Rafa Wazrike now. He has begun to build hostel. Here, yeah, Rafa Wazrike, they build his hotel. Akuna Akuna Hotel, every, in the whole Imo state. Rafa Wazrike have bought the whole land. He own a robe, own a Akuna. Own a Akuna. A prostitute house. That is what Rafa Wazrike is building. From the money that he collected on the head of Biafran Restoration. Now you understand what I'm saying. So what I'm trying to tell the zoo called Nigeria, believe you me, if this Nigeria is a people that reasons, that day, they even though they should not, they couldn't bring Mazen Namdekano back to that Nigeria. If Nigeria is a country that reasons, if people in that, that is why we say that they are animals, Nigeria, People, the brains of people that call themselves Nigeria. I'm not saying the people that find themselves in that contraption called Damnebuzu, Nigeria. But the people calling themselves Nigerians. There is something wrong with these people. Nigeria don't reason. That is why they are making Mazen Namdekano popular, 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 popular. And the man is waxing every single day. But Nigeria can't even reason that. Let this man go. They can't. They are holding the man they have already discharged. They went to Omoaya now. He won another case in Omoaya. His name is still going. But for you to release him, you will not. Tomorrow now, when he, when he finally be free, and he will say, Nde wono, the word will carry it. You will begin to say, Mazen Nandekan is powerful. Are you not the one that causing your problem? Nigeria released Mazen Nandekan. Let him go. Let him go and you as you are releasing him. Mazen Namdekano have told you people a lot of things that you people supposed to do. And he was asking for, 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 I mean, for our own land, our own state, which is Biafra. And before then, Mazen Namdekano have told you people, just look at this contraption. Just look at it. Geographical engine. Just look at this British creation. Just look at it. I just, just one minute and ask yourself a question. When you go to Abuja, which is northern place, they have international airport. Alright? They have international airport. They have dry port. Dry port, they use billions of billions upon billions of dollars to build in Kaduna or Kastena. I don't know where they build it. Dry port. Now dry you. And that dry port means <clears throat> they will bring goods now, probably from Lagos. Now they will ship it to that dry port. You will go there now and clear your goods on top of dry port. There is no water there on dry port. Why we have River Niger? That they will just use the money they used to build that dry port. They will only just use one quarter to drill, to drill the River Niger 
to make it wider, to make it deeper, so that sheep will be coming there. No, they will not do it. They run to Kaduna or Castina. Go and build dry pot. When you come to Lagos, when you come to Lagos, you will see Lagos have international airport. They have a Papa Wharf, which is port. Mazin Nam the Kano mentioned or when you come to that zoo called Nigeria, talk about the embassies, where the embassies is in northern part somewhere in Lagos. If they have uh, their 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 their, their the, this thing, there is none in our land, none. Mazin Nam the Kano have told them all these things. Even though when the colonial people were in that contraption, they were using some port in Igbosha. That Igbosha port today have been closed. And you are telling me that we are one people. Just imagine. Just think about this. That is the reason why Mazin Nan cannot have been crying all this while. Telling you people, You say that we are one Nigeria. That is what you people claim that we are. But you people are denying the beer from people everything in totality. In, there is no government presence. There is none. There is none. And some idiot we have in our land called representatives. I don't know now, but Andy or Weber Can somebody just tell me? Or Bon Andy, I don't know Weber or Brofanisi. Not to reason or understand the mess that they are into. As the, as the as so called leaders. That then they don't even think. But one thing I'm telling Nigeria, I keep on saying this. Some people will be saying, What am I saying now? What this guy is saying? Eh, that they are making Mazin Nam the kind of popular. Of course, they have to release him. You don't know before. The zoo have to release Mazin Nam the kind. If they don't release Mazin Nam the kind, I'm telling them Mazin Nam the kind will keep on waxing. Popular, will, they will be in, in Mazin Nam the kind of population or pop, pop, popularity. We keep on growing, and the world, those people that don't know about him, we keep, we, we, they, we begin to know him. Now, do you know how many people knows about Mazin Namdekano today? Is he not this, on this, uh, Mazin Namdekano kidnap and rendition from Kenya to that contraption? The UN talk about Mazin Namdekano. Which, how do you want international community to hear, hear about him again? More are coming. A few people don't know more are coming. So I'm telling the zoo to release Mazen Namdekan. Release him and call him on a round table so that you people can discuss how Biafra will come. Because we are not talking about the zoo called Nigeria. Also, all of you that are talking about the uh, uh, presidency, uh, you think we care? I don't care about your presidency. What we care is for you because we know at the end there must be also round table. So it's better now. That is why I'm telling Nigeria. I'm giving them sense. I'm giving Nigeria by themselves sense. There are like people that don't reason. I'm giving them sense. Release him. Believe you me, if you release Mazen Namdekano, it will be better for you people. Release him. Let him go. But you people won't. Now, but I know he must be free. Now, let me talk about this in my Finland. Of course, some of you will, will begin to say what he's talking about. If you are here for the film, you go. I don't need you. I don't need you to be here. You understand what I'm talking about, my great people? Eberima in Finland, I saw him yesterday yapping and talking all sort of rubbish. I don't know when he did the video. He's talking about government in exile. He says some people in America, in Washington, this he want to stole his... Uh, <laughs> Hi, uh, Mazen Nam they cannot set up IPOB if I'm not mistaken. When everything was so strong, waxing very nice since 2010 or 12, up to date, there is no problem in Mazen Nam the leadership. There is no problem. There is no problem. A very man under one three months. The day he say government in the same thing Eberima is doing now, Eberima will be telling you that uh, anything that you don't hear in his page is not real. That some people he say uh, what is he called? He say I just say I don't know what he call his name. He was telling you people some idiotic story. Eberima was in a meeting with somebody that Mazen Nandekano himself expelled. 
He was saying it to you people and he was laughing. And some of you idiots was clapping for him, telling him to write down. Is somebody that Mazin Nam Bekano expelled? If you people know the name of the guy that he was talking, no, I don't want to bring it in my video on my page. I will just talk about him. I'm not kind of him that you would go and cut my video. He will cut my video and begin to tell you people that my video is intel, that I was speaking to people on the ground. Why is a full video that I do, a full broadcast that I did on my page? He go there and copy it, begin to lie to you people. Now you understand what I'm talking about. And let me tell you, let me shock you people before I continue, you know, Ibirima. The same video that they use, they go and cut. Some people were there before this Ibirima brought out that video clip, small video clip, and cover the face because he don't want you people to know that that was a broadcast. He wants you people to see it as a, I mean, I was discussing with somebody on the ground, telling him something that is bothering me, but he have forgotten that the video was on my page. And before that, a very man, we, I am, I have a problem with that that particular video. Some people have come to me and tell me to delete that video. I told them they have to prove to me the reason why I have to delete the video. That is why today I was vindicated on that particular video that someone ever did. That is why you don't talk about it again. When I bring the original video, did you see someone ever talk about it again? The answer is no. But if it's like when those people were fighting for me to delete that video, if I did it, what am I going to tell the world? That is why you see everything that I said is a gospel. When we make a video, we don't delete it. Regardless who you are or your position. Because before we did any video, people that we are, we are, we are following the nose about it. So, Eberima now... I still tell you, I my, before he was announcing, say they have already set up the government in SI. I want to ask you, is he the same one that has had to go board them? Fato government, the way, where can you, somebody tell me where is the Fato government today? Who should call for me for? No, no, I am not Who should call for me for idiot? I am almost 5,000, 4,000 something. We send this idiot to school. He finishes school. Who me for was a political asylum? Ushem F4 was a full time political asylum. Only already, Adoro, Adoro already. And we help him send him to school. After Ushem F4 get his document, Ushem F4 come, bro, Buzia, Wanza, Wanza, Kana, Kanea, Wanza, or Fuko, Fuko, Bribo, or Chonoga, Kanea. Oh man, or Bobilo Kaneto, not the same size, Kafanchan in a gabo. Ushu Kafo F4. Now, Mogari Kampuam. Asari Dokubo today, Fato government, where is Fato government? Nowhere. Asari Dokubo is supporting Tinubu. Idiot. That is the way they rose. Now you see. Eberima in Finland begin to shout that some people are want to take over his government in SI. He was crying. He, he was crying on his page. Crying. I say, Eberima, you are crying that somebody want to stole your government in SI. He says some people want to went to Washington DC. They they fix a table. They fix a chair. They wear the chair clothes. They do this. That is lie. That they in Finland you can have a restore Biafra from Finland. Look at what stupid Eberima is telling you people that they will restore Biafra in Finland. When he said that he understand that it cannot work, he also add Ghana. He say they can restore Nigeria from uh, they can restore Biafra from Ghana. <laughs> a, berima, a criminal will always be a criminal. If you think that you know it all, there is some people that are waiting for you as a criminal. There is some people that you people are working. They also want to take that your position that you think that you know, but you don't know nothing. Some people are using you also. Of course, you are an agent. Eberima is working with the zoo called Nigeria. Eberima is a boy to this one that uh, is, a, is a organ trafficking. Today in, in England, what is his name? Ike Kuremado. Eberima is his, uh, his boy. Today, Ike Kuremado is in prison. Is he coming out? The answer is no. He will die there. Because he's went to go, he's stolen the organs of people, selling it, using it for, 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 for no reason. Now you understand. Tell a very man, all this one that is telling you people that you remember 130 days or 150 days, I don't know how many days or 300 days is what I do. The nonsense he's talking about is what I don't know. That uh, Biafra, he wants to tell you that he wants to re announce government in SI. 
<laughs> and who give him that automatum of uh, government in exile? Eh? Let me tell you, people. There is a man called Okiado. That man is the first person that we are pushing the government in exile. The man was nobody. The man was nobody. Okiado, he was nobody. He's no. He, up to date, he's nobody. He came into IPOB. They make him one of the leader. Uh, what he brought his government in exile. Only no ask him, you are bringing a government in exile. You, you, which country do you have that is backing you up? Or you just like this thing that Simon Emma is doing, they build my Finland. Now every day up to now, I can Now, yeah, which country is backing Simon Emma up in that government in exile? He's telling you offices, offices, offices. He, even though Simon Emma told you people they have prime minister. Hi, if for John Atosh. If for John Atosh. Hey, my people. Can on and the, the worst part of it is like all the whole problem. And do, do you know that this idiot want to raise a fund again? It's ready. He have, they have already made a poster to raise fund. And I keep on asking these people. The one that you have raised, does it mean that these idiots that are following it, well, though you say computer generated uh, people, they, they are not human beings. They are not human beings. And those people that are following him really as a woman, they are not Biafran people. They are not part of what? Part of us, they are those people that want downfall of Mazen Namdekano. Because if these people can reason and understand, they could have begun to ask this guy, wait, Oga, I'm going to my brother, and me too, and say, Oga, but wait, Oga, but wait. The one you are promising us, have you done it? And you are keep on promising, keep on promising. But you make you people ask questions now. Is your do you people have brain at all? Then do you people have sense at all that you can't even ask a question? The leadership will go and tell the, the ESN to assemble themselves to parade Simon Eber with his group. They will go and carry the video and begin to post it on their page. And some of you gullible one now won't even know that this video comes from the doors that are wise. I saw them when I scroll on my timeline. You will see, uh, even though they say uh, autopilot uh, group something, they go and put the video that Mazin Shinas and Waru posted on his page, that the Radio Biafra posted on, on, on the Radio Biafra. Biafra television posted it. Most of us that are following the, 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 the later instruction from Onyendu Mazin Namdekan. We post it, and the Berimanan will go and also carry it and put it on his page. Begin to claim that I have challenged Berimanan that he should bring people that he knows. He knows nobody. The people that they are, they have already infiltrated, they are, they are going after one after the other. They are, they are putting them in, the, in their grave because they are using them. Berimanan himself is using them. Now he's crying for government in exile. You are crying that people want to stole your government in exile. Why you have already duplicated everything that Mazen Nam can put in place? You have already duplicated it fake everywhere, fake. You come with your, all this your sheep uh, uh, embrace. You come with embrace. You come with VOP, VOP or what you call them. You come with dragon. You come with uh, ESN Joko. Now you, you even though Paris and you see this idiot called Simon Epa don't even know nothing. Our law, law that my royalty also to you can never stop. But some people won't understand what I'm saying. The respect I have for Mazen Namikano is also equal respect that I have for Mazen Namikano's wife. I know you won't understand it, but that is the ethics of this movement. We respect people. The wife of our leader. If you go against the wife of our leader, you are going against our leader. That is definitely, that's not how you can change it. If you go against the wife of our leader, what I will tell you when you go against our leader is exactly what I will tell you. And some people are using corny way because we are human. They won't understand the pattern they are using. Instead of them to Tackle Mazen Namdekano direct. They will not. They will now use the wife. 
some people that they are sympathizer will say it's not talking to Mazen Nandekan, but you are talking to the wife that is out here with us. The husband is in DSS dungeon. They kidnap him from Kenya, beat him, do all manners of evil to him, rendition him to that contraption called Amnibuzu. The first day that he appeared in the court, he was on the chain, covered face, chain on his leg, and the wife are here crying. And now you are going to mock the wife, and you are telling me you are not mocking the, the husband. You must be a stupid and idiotic. Now you understand what I'm saying. I want you to go and tell Simon Ebanobi the Ebaqua, Obidobel. And uh, he was, uh, he also said his name is Efan. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> nah. Eh. <clears throat> Simon never turned again say his name is Efany because Barista Efany Jofo did not mention his name. He mentioned Ikenga. He mentioned uh, Darlington. He said these people are defending him, of course. What do you want him to say? People that defend him, he called their names. So why are you jealous? Ask Simon, why is he jealous? Our leader's wife came up. And, you know, praise the IPOB media warriors under the leadership of Mazen Namdi Okukano, Onendu Mazen. Someone ever carry it on top of his head, begin to cry. Hey, you want our leader. You, you, know, you are warning your mother. You are warning our leader, wife. You never want your mother. Oh, our leader, wife, you want to come and warn. Don't come out. Don't speak. Don't do this. You are talking to your wife. Or you are talking to your baby, or you are talking to your toy. Don't speak, don't do this. And when you are doing all this, you don't know that you are talking to Mazen Namdekan. That is the evil in our people. And then our leader praised the IPOB media warrior. He come out, he begin to cry. As he they cry, but it's the Fanny Jofo shock him. Someone make I think he did a four-time broadcast. He began to cry. And you know how Simon ever was manipulating people's mind. Please, if I go to one, one hour, please, the technical director, I know they are coming against you, but I'm telling them anybody that go against IPOB, Rapture Media Technical Director, of course, you are, you are going against me too. If you ever talk about him bad, I will come on social media, I will call your name, and there is nothing you can do about it. So some of you that are fighting him on the ground, allow him to be. Because what he's doing, you cannot do it. This man is, is streaming for money tonight. Are you paying him? Have you paid him before? IPOB technical director, have you paid him before? And you are there following all this nonsense, going against him on the ground. If you reach there, I will tell him himself to make audio tape to tell me the story from the beginning to the end, and I will bring it out. This is as I go to play it, and so I go to call on a name. Or whom I can see a man came. I told you people, and there is nothing you people can do about it. So Simon Eba, but it's the funny is your form, push him aside. He begin to cry. And do you know how this guy want to manipulate people? He was telling people that I have been I have been talking to Baris Ifanye Jofo. I spoke to Baris Ifanye Jofo till last month. And some gullible one will be saying, why Baris Ifanye Jofo is doing this to him? This is how to manipulate your mind for you to begin to think that this idiot called Simon Eba is talking to Baris Ifanye Jofo. You see? And some people will say, yes, he was talking to Baris Ifan Yejofo. Why Baris Ifan Yejofo is doing? Baris Ifan Yejofo don't know Simon Eba. Apart from that message that comes from the beginning. Go, you will broadcast on Radio Biafra. Simon Eba carry it on top of his head. He say he want to go and... Mazen Nandekanu told him to go and settle the problem in DOS. That is what Simon Eba said. He said, they told you to go and take slot in Radio Biafra. You have to say, I told you people, I signed code of conduct. I signed, for me to broadcast on Biafran television, I signed code of conduct. The same thing they told this to sign. He said, no, 
that he will do anything he want. That is how Eberima will still bring uh, this uh, Nelly Ofebu note. Uh, Bekus. This is how it could, it could have been on Radio Biafra. This Bekus could have been on Radio Biafra. This is it. By then, people will be telling you that so Biafran uh, Radio Biafra now is uh, a Ebana Walton. That is what's supposed to happen. If he says someone ever was on, on Radio Biafra, Bekus of Nelly Ofebu will be on Radio Biafra. That is when we our own is gone. Because they will say now our our page now is Pon Pon Station. The doors are wise. I'm telling you people, the doors are wise. Simon ever claiming that uh, uh, a Mazin Nandikano told him there is a serious problem in DOS that he has to go and settle the case of in DOS and now a copy of his story. Some people are some idiots are there laughing, saying, Simon, where well don't well, right don't right don't who told you there is a problem in DOS? Are you mad? Are you sick in the brain? This is a teenage idiot. Now you understand what, what I'm talking about. I hope you get the point. So now, by the safe age of Fat Mapu Gear, Mazin Nandekano will also be the last person that will shock him. That is when Oge Mono Chalene Vunanya, you begin to understand that Simon Eba is not part of us. Simon Eba is not among of us. Simon Eba is nobody. Because first, you don't know where this guy came from. Nobody knows his land. Probably he grew up in a bony state. It's possible he grew up in a bony state. If you look at the interview he had with BBC, BBC in the Allah, you see, he went there, they asked him, where are you from? Someone said that, forget about where I'm from. The guy still tell him, you must to identify where you are from. He says, he's Biafra, Mas. Who, are we not all Biafrans? Tell us, of course, we are still in Nigeria today. As I'm speaking to you, there's no two ways about it. There's no how we can dispute it. As we are moving towards to restore our dignity, our motherland called Biafra. We are still in Nigeria fighting. So it doesn't mean that you are not from somewhere. I am from here, like in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. Tell us where you are from. He will not say he will be telling you because honor also. Our boyess you know Niabo, a freedom fighter. Honor was your son. He don't want to identify where he came from. But it's the fine age of our up gear also. Or ne best also aqua. And that is how Mazin Nandekano will come out. And praise the the, the, the media warrior. All the entire all the go best here. But I'm my boy Simon. Eh, but Ebe, his last bus stop will be his life. If Mazin Namdekano eventually out, and he ever talk ill about Mazin Namdekano, that is when Mazin Namdekano will tell him what he made of. You know this one we are doing now. We are just doing it, pampering some things. To make sure that only in the mass in Namdekan that not, did not commit any crime against that contraption, let him be free. I am not a pampier, we are not a dozier, we are not a hazier, we are not a dozier, we are not a dozier, we are not a dozier, we are not a 28 men were killed the same day they came to assassinate him, and some people like him want want mass in Namdekan not to come out. Of course, if you don't know, I'm telling you. That is why you see they are doing all this atrocity in our land. Putting it on top of Mars and Nandekan. But God so good. The court of appeal have given the judgment. The court of appeal have given the judgment. Mars and Nandekan is the church. So you free him. So let him come out. The, you know, the backbone of IPOB. Because you people don't know. You people don't know that we are just keeping quiet because... We, we, we can never afford, we, you know, I say things the way it is. Of course, if anything happened to Mazen Nandekan, we turn zoo upside down. There's no two ways about it. And the zoo themselves, they know. And we, our, we that are following Onyendu, we can never afford to lose him. We need him always. The man that started this thing, we need him always. Always we need him. We need him to be there. We don't care if you say that he have compromised, if you say that they, they is a political solution, they give him political solution, if you say that they just forgive him, if you say they give him amnesty, we don't care, we need him to be with us. That's what we need. We don't need anything. Now you understand what, what, what I'm saying. Fabricate lies, concord stories, say whatever you want to say. Do you think we care? 
We IPOB, we don't care because the doors are wise. Ever I can't gain or help you. I, I have told you people that I'm the one that going to crucify them. Look at what Simon ever is saying now with Bridget Okaf. Can you people remember all my videos on Bridget Okaf? I am the first person begin to I am the first person that challenged Bridget to Kafo on those money they were paying saying they are lobbying international community I am the first person that asked them all the whole money they have already spent it can they prove it to me what they have done with that money who have they sent for Mazen Namdekan case on that money I was keep on you know Talking about the money, saying about the money, Simon will come out and begin to tell you people, eh, Bridget Okafo is doing well. The same thing that he, he, he said that if you know what Nelly is doing, you will love Nelly more than him. Now, at the end, he can't they bring Nelly Bekus. And some of you never asked Simon ever. Wait, Oga, according to my brother Metusela. Oga, wait now. But you tell us, say, eh, say you, you are, I'm, I'm Nelly Ofebu. Nelly Ofebu is me. Why now are you bringing the bekus of Nelly Ofebu? Why? Are you bringing the bekus of Nelly Ofebu so that the world will see her bekus and that, then that is the exposition? Up to date, as I'm speaking to you people, Simon never, never give us that exposition that he said by then. And none of you idiots, stupidity in you people, never come to ask Simon. But I thought that you told us that you are going to do an exposition. You are going to shock every one of us about Nelly Ofebu and those that sold our leader. Up to date, there is no evidence. Nah, eh. Nah, eh. Does it mean that some of you don't even reason? That is why sometimes I keep on asking that everything our leader said is a gospel. There is no thinking faculty in most of our black people, apart from IPOB. And those people that say that they are not Nigeria, if you are a Nigeria, I believe there is no sense in you. I'm telling you, there is no sense. What? There is no even single sense in you. Because animal is better than you. Animal is better than you. And you people should begin to ask Simon a question now. Simon ever is about to raise fund again. As I'm speaking to you people, the apostle is out there. And you people never ask Simon, or okay, wait again. All the whole money you have been raising, have you sent any representative to that zoo called Nigeria to go and represent Mazen Namdekano. Have you sent any delegate? Have you sent any lawyer to go there and represent Mazen Namdekano? The answer is no. You keep on raising funds. Make when I ask this guy a question now. The fund you are raising, is it uh, government in SI? Is it what you are raising funds for? Now you understand. That we're supposed to begin to reason. You people should reason as a woman now. Just one, just say, common sense. Come on, all the common, but believe you me, I begin to understand that this we call common sense is not common. When you come in Europe, you can call it common because that's what they call, uh, you know, common education that you don't have to learn in university. All this thing they are learning in university in a, 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 in that zoo. Here is in primary school from your house self. You have already begun to know all these things. Now you understand. Tell Simon Evans he is a criminal. Tell him that his people also ready to criminal him. <laughs> you know, he thought that he is, uh, is uh, he thought that he does his stupid smart. Even in a, he just, I mean, yeah, I'm a smart guy. I'm a smart a person that only do mention his name. Tell him, don't let devil enter you. What a wonderful prophet we have. What a spiritual prophet we have. And when he speaks, he speaks in prophetic way. Our leader speaks in prophetic. And everything that I have said is about you. Some of them have come and gone. Some that are still coming, you will see them with your guru guru eyes. And there's nothing you can do about it. Now you understand what I'm talking about. Simon Ebana is crying for government in exile that some people want to stole government in exile from him. And he's there, stolen money from our people every day. Simon Ebana is telling you people that Biafra is coming in 2023 because he wants to reset again government in exile. 
because he believed that the one they have already announced before, some people in America, <laughs> some people in America that is bigger than him now have taken it away from him. Or oh, they're busy alpha. Or see, no, they are not part of them. A whole idiot called Simon Eba, a person that Mazen Nandekan expelled by himself. Simon ever seated with them discussing and now he came out and used it as a broad, on, on his broadcast and some of you and he's telling you people by first uh, the first time I don't know uh, but later I see Bridget them all of them there that is why I'm there you see now Simon ever now is the one that playing Bridget ping pong I told you people about Bridget I told you people that Bridget with the one they call Dr. Uh, Pastor Jack, they are in our land, Ebony. They are in Akwaibon, setting camps there, killing our people every single day. Bridget Okaf, that you are seeing the gallivanting every day. Now, cost story. Now, 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 we are Mazen Nambikan have told us down with that number. Anytime I stay in the mic of this radio Piafra, it's gospel. Everything I speak is gospel. That Bridget to come for when they begin to call us Janja Witch. Like the way Madame Finas came and said that we are gossiping on Radio Piafra. All of them there, these people are non entities. These people are very stuck illiterate. That's why they can't even understand. We don't need all these people. We think I care. We don't need them. Hey, oh, you come say we are gossiping. Man and Fena say we are gossiping. When we, when we, when we were dis defending them on, on Radio Biafra, Biafra and television, no, they don't know. Some people will have a birthday party, a birthday, they will send them money. Some people, they are sending them money for their, for their, for their house, house rent. We are here putting ourselves in danger. I am here putting myself every single day in danger. Some people, I don't know what they are doing. They are giving them money, paying them free allowance in our money that we contributed. And Madame Finance is sitting on top of money. If he tell you to audit, he will be thrown a fist back at the do, yeah, apart from money, I don't have respect for anybody again. And you are telling me that this woman, he, he, she deserves to be in this movement. If he's like, he, he believes that it's only his. Her royalty is only for you to mass in Namka, nobody else. That means that she's not supposed to be part of us, of course. On absent of our leader, Mazi Shike Dozen is supreme to everybody, anybody. Anybody is bigger than anybody. Any position that you occupy in, 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 in DOS, apart from Mazi Namka, he is bigger than anybody and you must respect him. But he's there yapping, talking all sorts of rubbish. Some people are following them. Canon Tano Eba and Abogari Kamkuranamu. Not cost story every single day. Or dress side or dress side there. Yeah. No voice. He has no canon has no mouth. There's no mouth there. He has no mouth. A who who claim to be Mazen Nam the canon brother. Tell him to own his uh, the, the Facebook. On it. Let me see how many people will see you. Facebook are still suppressing us. We get to find something, they drop it down. That is why I don't come to live broadcast. Because what they are doing to me is what I don't like. And I have found a safer landing, you know, to know what to do and what I do best for people to view the video. I know what to do. We know what Facebook is. You see, media, we have gotten our safer landing, especially me, the Biafran child watching it. I get the safer landing. I know how to deal with these people. That is why I told you people I am under multiple platforms. That I have already, we have already grown with the help of IPOB technical director. That is why I'm telling you people, if you ever go against that man, eh? if you the day the man will voice out and tell me and cry out, I will tell you people, I will tell you people who I am. I don't beg nobody. Nobody pays me. That is why I will keep on voicing. Whether you like it or not, one nigga pays and Raja. Who cares? You think I care about you? As you don't care about me, I can never care about you. I care only Biafran restoration. The promise that Chuko Kikabiyama promised us through our leader, Mazen Nandikano. And the rules and regulations that Mazen Nandikano put, put in place. And the DOS, the highest office of this movement, and the highest commander called Mazen Namdekan 
and our noble family called IPOB. And I hope you get all these three things that I mentioned. I must defend them. Now you understand what I'm talking about. There is no two ways about it. One, you got a piece in a right, you got a piece. There is nothing you can do about it. I think I have using almost all of the one hour because I don't want to stay here more than one hour. Technical director, please, if you are there, please tell me how many hours you can write it, please. Have I used one hour because I'm not seeing the time here? Sometimes this thing will move off. Have I using one hour? Somebody should write, please. Please, 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 because uh, Facebook give me, I think they, they, they want to stop me on one hour, please. So can somebody use, how many minutes have I used there, please? I have uh, two more articles so that I can couple all of them together and push it out to our people so that they will understand what we are doing, that we are not going to stop. I thank you, great people. I thank you for listening all these things that I'm saying because it's very, very important that we follow those that know the road, that we follow those that we know the ethics to give us Biafra, to follow those that know the modus operandi of this movement, which is DOS, lead by Mazishike Dozemo. Nobody else. I greet you, Mazishina Samoru. I greet you. I greet you so much. I agree to Mazwa former, the head of all of our media, the man that our power, the Mazwa former is powering every one hour now. Thank you. You are one hour now. Thank you. Thank you, great people. I will end my video here. I don't want to go more than this so that people can be able to watch the video. Because if I do it so much, it will take people a lot of data to watch it. I will be coming time to time, but for sure, I must be dropping my quick video which is where people always watch my video. Let me greet the people in DOS. Uh, should I greet them? If I greet some people, if I don't know the name of some people, it will look like uh, some people, I'm working with some people would know. I don't work with anybody. I'm just following the rules and regulation of Mazen Namdekano. And uh, I have promised the leadership that I can never be in subordination to this movement. Ebelima is in subordination. Yes. Canon ties in subordination to this movement. With this thing that finance is doing, finance is also in subordination to this movement. I told you people, I will not stop. If Oyendu come out today, I will, I keep on praying for Oyendu. I have told you people what happened, how they want to, how they have filled Oyendu. That does not mean that if Oyendu come out, I will stop what I'm saying. The answer is no. That is when you people will know who is their franchise. You think I will stop? You think I will stop? Is it what you think? That is when you will know who I am. They are all in subordination to this movement. I greet you, DOS. I greet you, Mazishike Dozim. I greet you, Mazin Namdekano. I greet you, the whole IPOB worldwide. Those that have listened to this message that I have today, like as I told my people, Abuja is about to get into the hands of terrorists, Isba and Boko Haram. That is what American people said and foreign missions. That is what they said. But we are, but that is the way they are telling us everywhere. But, but we, that is a lot. Because what happened to Taliban is about to happen. It will happen and you people will see it. Anything goes in that contraption. Anything goes. That is why we are bringing this a lot. Because what happened in Taliban may come tomorrow. We are telling you people so you will know. A Benima now is crying because some people want to take his uh, government in exile from him. On a bar, can not tell when I born or when I born a camp around finance? When I ever bring subordination to this, our struggle now you understand it. I greet you, great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, and great people all over the world. As some of you that listen to this broadcast today, like I said, it's an emergency broadcast and it's a quick one. I will tell you all, may Shuko Kikabiyama keep on guiding you and protecting you. Protect our leader, Mazin Namdekano. Protect the womb that give birth to Mazin Namdekano where they are today. They are watching us and praying for us. Praying for Chukwoki Kabiyama to give us the promise that I have promised us that Biafra is our last destination on this planet Earth. And when Biafra comes, we are going to worship Chukwoki Kabiyama in truth and honesty. And we have promised him. We are sinners. And we have understood that we sin. That is why we are asking forgiveness from him. And he has said... 
to our leader that have already been forgiven us. That is why our leader went to Kenya. That is why they kidnapped him. That is why our leader was in DSS dungeon today. That is why they free him so that he will bring Biafra for us. Malami is there holding him. Now you understand what I'm talking about. What Mazinan can do to them? Nothing. I want to greet Ushieshi Dia, Wanya Maramma, Kasibobi, Yotago, Nachifra, Fukuano, Wanya Maramma. I have told you that I will defend you. The speech that you pour out from your, from your mouth, will, your footstep, I will defend you. I told you. There is no lie about it. The same respect I have for Mazin, the same respect I have for you. I keep on telling you this. Anybody that come against you, on a full guns where me a me could have find somebody to send me a message can be a finish here the person. I greet you all, great people, for listening. I still remember Mazo Kenno Kichuku, known as the Bia franchise watching again. From me, from here, of course, it's a good afternoon. Till we see you again. Good day and welcome.